Hello and welcome Come back. back, magical folks, sorcerers, witches, you know, we mean everyone, we don't mean to discriminate. So my name is Joe. <laughs> my name is Sammy. And, and this, this is After Dusk. Dusk again. Yeah, so in our first introductory video, oh my god, you're so adorable. <laughs> In our first introduction video, uh, we covered a little bit of what we'll be doing with this channel. So we kind of started our journey into this mystical realm of magic and the occult. But today, guys, today we want to delve deeper. Into the woods. In, oh, I would love to take you into the woods. So you, you didn't hear anything. Um, yeah, so we would like to delve deeper today and explain a bit further what magic really is and more importantly what it is not i love that yes so we will be giving you some definitions of magic we will be um talking a bit about sorry guys i just had to let my hair down Oh, okay, okay. You can't love me. I love you and I love your hair, you know that. <laughs> okay, but this is not a rom com video, guys. So uh, let's get back to the topic at hand. So, Sammy, could you give Sammy, us some pointers yeah. as to what is magic? Can you tell me? I, can. I, I mean, I, I actually, <laughs> so Sammy has her old grimoire, uh, which is full of quotes, but then I just decided to go on with my own quote <laughs> that I would say, Joe, with that. You know, magic is using your energy and the energy of your surroundings to redirect it in a way that it creates a desired effect with no logical scientific explanation. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so basically, magic is what transcends the rational, what transcends the physical reality that we are so accustomed to living in. But basically, as Sammy so wonderfully explained it, uh, it is actually just a manipulation of energy. I don't like the sound of it, manipulation. Manipul okay, but we are actually... Really it. I think this actually has to do with what our channel is about. We are fighting the you know negative connotations surrounding certain okay. terms. And so manipulation, of course, as we perceive it, as we deem it as you know society, uh, this does bring some negative connotations with it, but we don't want that to be the case. No. So manipulating just means, you know, working with in order to change something. So manipulating energy and, you know, both our own or, you know, energy of our surroundings. Because, just owning it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think <laughs> that works. So basically, I think that the bigger part of our video today should perhaps be dedicated to explaining and talking about what magic is not because yes. there have really been so many misconceptions over the years you know mainly like thanks to hollywood and all the movies where they you know well we love I those just, we love I those movies sad. but it's just we were watching a horror movie recently Ooh, and yeah. we were so excited when they brought in the root work and i got you know i, I started jumping in my seat like let's go let's go and then they <laughs> It up. They fucked it up. Yeah, yeah can we did. say that? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. They did. Yeah, they did. It was just like it, they they did this smash of it. It didn't look like Rootwood anymore. It looked like uh, you know Abrahamic kind of um, high magic. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't make sense actually. It doesn't because um, of course if they didn't present it as such, all right, we would just be like, okay, okay. You know, this yeah. is a mixture of all kind of practices and that's all right you're allowed to do that with yeah, respect <laughs> but you are, yeah, you are. <laughs> um, and i know we are going to get so much hatred for this but uh we will explain on this in another of course video we will. yeah of course we will uh on the maybe we could start i mean we've already started obviously but maybe yeah. we could okay i know i know let me say oh this oh my gosh he knows everything <laughs> you know, guys this so, scares me sometimes <laughs> I just read his mind all the time. <laughs> all right, but yeah. Okay. So like my great, 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 great <laughs> used to say. Okay. Yeah, and she was a wise woman. All right. Uh, she used to say that you know when you use magic, and when you when you have this well, I don't want to say gift, but yeah, you know it is this kind of a skill that you you can use and you're inclined to use. Then you should whenever you can use it 
to help others, to heal others, to, to help those who, who lost control over their life and not so much for your own gain, not for power. That doesn't mean that Sammy is not going to do an occasional financial spell, right? But, you know, just to be cautious about it. Come on, they don't have to know. We, we need a castle, guys! We need it! <laughs> yeah, we want a castle in Scotland. We are getting it. Um, so, basically, yeah, just to sum up what my love has just so wonderfully explained again, um, magic should not be, you know, about just exquisitely, you know, achieving some personal gains, you know, achieving the stages of power or something. Magic is all about the journey of exploration, guys. It's about the journey of experience. Exploring. It's about the journey of discovering new things and learning as much as we are able to learn about the world and seeing especially the reality that surrounds us at all times. Seeing it with different eyes. Seeing it with different oh, eyes. Because it that. is yeah. around us and magic yeah. is around us. The spirit world is around us. It's not yeah. it's some, you know, fifth dimension. It's it's Precisely, here. yes. It's here. Yeah. Uh, Should we maybe list a few reasons? Um, I mean, let's list a few reasons why some people might think it's a good idea for them to take up magic, but um, those are actually very, sh sorry for the expression, but those are shitty reasons to take up magic, uh, and we'll also explain why. So the first reason I'd say uh, is if you want to take up magic and start doing magic just, you know, to seem rebellious, to, to be a bad boy or a bad girl, yeah, don't do that. Because what will happen, guys? What will happen is uh, you're gonna read some stuff, you're gonna, you know, uh, soak in some theory and you're so. gonna do a ritual, a spell, or whatever, and it's gonna backfire. This happened and in a group once, I'm sorry to jump in, but this yeah. has happened. Like, this guy was like, Oh, I don't read anything, I just take rituals from Pinterest. Pinterest? I'm why? gonna cry. Okay. Why? Yeah. Yeah, why would you take rituals from Pinterest? I don't know. But yeah, basically, if you do something that you don't know the background of, and if you, you know, just know how to do something, but you know, don't, actually, you don't know the internal workings of it, you don't know how it functions in its and essence. Why? Yeah. So you're going to do a ritual, as we said, you're going to do a spell, and uh, you're going to create an effect, or uh, better yet, you're going to summon something, and something's going to come, and you're not going to be ready for it. And you're not going to be prepared, and it's going to fuck you up. No, I mean, are, are we been, scaring them now? We should be scaring them right now be because uh, this is actually what we're trying to achieve here. Yeah. Sammy. So exactly, when you do something, you should always, you know, always be be prepared for the consequences. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but it's, it's like true. you know, it is it, true. this yeah. is this is where practical magic, mo the movie, got it right uh, when it says every you know piece of magic has a price. It doesn't mean that, that your child will be taken from the fae. Uh, don't work with the fae if you don't want yeah, your don't work with rebel fae. Yeah, if you, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, just don't. Yeah, there's not it here. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. <clears throat> so what would be some other reason maybe, Sammy, Someone would take not to magic. take up magic? Or... Right, so just because, you know, they, they saw it. I'm sorry, Joe, but this has to be said. They, they watch Harry Potter and they want a shiny wand. And then I'm like, oh, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. I'm not flying. Yeah. So nothing against wands. You can use a wand if you that can. makes you. Yeah. It, I mean, obviously, it can work. It uh, just won't work Don't the way you see it in movies. Sparkle. I mean, Hollywood has really done. Yeah. Like, it, it's like the world of magic's taken its toll largely due to all these, you know, movies uh, portraying magic in a light that's not really representative of what it really is. And, uh, we did watch a movie recently that you know kind of got it right uh, okay, on one? the consequences, the love witch, because <laughs> she does actual rituals, but then she's not aware yeah, that yeah. these ingredients are exactly uh, toxic. Mm -hmm. They're in fact toxic, you know, which happens with a lot of popular, you know, best-selling spell books out there. Yeah. You don't know that these ingredients are toxic, and then you go, "Oh, love spell, and your love is dead." I love is not dead. <laughs> But yeah, yours might be, if you're not careful. Yeah. So just remember, always be careful and always do your studies first and always, you know, just, you know, be aware uh, of not just what you're doing, but oh. the real reasoning behind why you're doing it. Don't do it for the revenge. Of course yeah. you can. Let's 
No. <laughs> Like, I think this is like no, no, no. Okay. It's too, it's too early. We like. Alrighty, alrighty. You know, we we you just have reverse <laughs> on protection magic for that, and then you yeah, you boost yeah. it up. So what happens? I mean, now that you mention it, let's just let's just discover okay, some basics. So like, okay. if you're using magic to like hex someone or to get a revenge on someone who's done you harm or done you wrong, uh, this will. If you're not a, a seasoned witch or a seasoned sorcerer, this will most certainly backfire and you will have to deal with the consequences that I can promise you guys you are not ready for. I mean... And you just... are getting uh, like your own man energy muddy and you are mixing it with things you're not ready to with mix things with. things you do not understand. Yeah. Yeah, not even closely well enough. To be able to you know deal with such things so yeah just because, don't do you it know, many even even the bindings sometimes they involve spirits um yeah. you know who who are supposed to actually bind the person it's not like we it's a tie uh and Can you uh, repeat that we are gonna do it it's a tie it's a tie no you're tied okay. you're gonna harm me oh no okay. no okay. there is you know <laughs> there are some energies you're tapping into right there yeah and uh well i just need to quote Raymond Grimaldi on this, and uh, I, I know, I know, do that, do that. I know, but he did yeah. say, he did say an excellent point. Mm -hmm. He said, only do this piece of work if you're ready for the consequences, and believe me, the price is usually just not worth it. This all, like, uh, let's just be clear on this, guys. This goes for all sorts of magic, all sorts of spell, whatever you want to do. You always have to be ready for the consequences because you have to be aware of the fact that they just might not turn out to be what you want them to be, okay? So there is no uh, one directional movement in magic. It's always bi-directional. So you, you know, send energy, give energy away, but you also receive a certain amount of a certain kind of energy. And you and have to be ready for that. We are not even talking about the triple rule that, for example, Wicca has. We are not, you know, for example, I, I practice the traditional path and, um, and you know, you're still, it, it's just the logic of energy, guys. Everything is energy. And if you're tapping into some dark stuff, then some dark stuff is going to hang out around you as well. Mm. Yeah, so let's just not do that. Um, do you think we've covered all the basics now yes. for this video? We did. Yeah, so basically, as you can see, we've now started a series um, of uh, a source uh, where we will first now be dealing and explaining the basics of magic, you know, covering the basics, maybe it's better said, yes. uh, just to give you guys some background, just to give you some initial knowledge that will help you then advance further within your craft, you know, and all that you want to do so there is no one answer uh one you know unique answer to uh, the question what kind of magic should i do or don't worry we what will path be should I go with? we yeah. will be doing magic you know yeah. just so they don't think oh so they will not there do anything. are millions literally millions of different paths you can take and you have to decide that for yourself or before you're able to make that decision you do actually have to have a little bit of background a little bit of you know uh basics covered uh, just so that you know uh, how and yeah basically in what way to, to, to make that decision so uh, with that said I think we can also now say goodbye to you goodbye. for this video goodbye my lovely magicians and uh, yeah um, let's yeah I, I just wanted to say that so if you haven't yet which you should have watching you <laughs> yeah just subscribe to the channel guys and um, share this video with your magical friends as well yeah, because I we want to reach get out as of my wide. Too. I will not get out of you. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um bye bye guys. Bye. See you, see you soon. Let's live some week. magic. Yes. <laughs> bye bye.